<clears throat> All right. This is apparently a follow-up video on my TED review that I did yesterday. I wanted to do it because I just I just wanted to. I wanted to point out I don't feel like I pointed out some of the major problems in the movie. I was just so angry at what I had watched yesterday that I that my anger came out in full throttle. I I just wanted to bash that movie to the ground and I'm glad I did. But I wanted to do this follow-up review of it because I don't feel like I pointed out the major major problems of the film. I was going to do a my thoughts on video of the upcoming television movie, The Lion Guard, Return of the War, which I am excited for, but that will have to be at another time. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> here, here are my, here's my follow-up review on Ted. Okay. First, I want to touch on the acting. Seth MacFarlane, Mark Wahlberg, and Mila Kunis. Um, Wahlberg and Kunis do... They do an alright job. It's not the best acting in the world. But Seth MacFarlane, who casted himself in this, and apparently wrote, produced, and directed this movie, Cheese and Rice, the man cannot act, write, produce, or direct to save his life. The writing in this movie is complete bullcrap, okay? It is complete and utter bull. Crap with a capital B. <sighs> I will admit that he tried, the keyword being tried, to give the character Ted some personality, but man, this character, like I said, in the first review of this movie, the humor he gives for this character comes off like an immature college dropout. And Ted's voice, you cannot tell me with a straight face that the bear, that the teddy bear sounds like Peter Griffin. I mean it. McFarlane did not even try to give Ted a different voice. He did not even freaking try. He, he just gave the teddy bear a risque personality, threw in Peter Griffin's voice, and that's it. I, I am telling you, the bear sounds exactly like Peter Griffin. And you can't tell me with a straight face that he doesn't. Because he has the same voice, the same immature personality. That's it. Now, on to the CG animation. Apparently, okay, I say apparently way too much, but I'm only saying it once. Normally, I would find CG in a movie that came out of, out of this generation to be complete garbage, but the only, and I mean the only positive thing I can, I can say about this movie is the animation for Ted. 
Ted looks like a, belie <laughs> a believable creature come to life. And that's really saying something. And it's really sad that the only thing that's good in this movie is the anim is the animation on the character. Now the jokes in this movie. I already touched upon the jokes of this movie, but I want to touch on them again just to give you guys a heads up. The comedy Dear heavens, there is no comedy to be found in this movie, okay? If you were to take the comedy of Jason Freeberg and Aaron Seltzer and put it into Seth MacFarlane's hands, this is what you get. I, I will not lie to you guys. This this movie has the exact same humor in Family Guy. And you can't tell me with a straight face that it doesn't, because I watched I watched the movie before I did the first review. I watched I looked it over and I I am telling you it is the exact same humor. It's it's like Seth MacFarlane did not even try to hide the fact that it was the same humor. I've seen, I've seen a couple, and I mean a couple, episodes of Family Guy from one of the early seasons and season four. Seasons one and four. That's it. And it is the exact type of humor. Just pop cultural, sexual, and toilet humor. That's it. And shout out to Ben Looney for giving me the inspiration to do these videos. Because, man, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able, able to, to find out about this movie. I found out about this movie when it came out, but Ben Looney, Ben Looney, you help me out there. You help me out there, kid. <laughs> I don't mean to be calling you a kid, but I'm getting off topic here. <sighs> okay, I've already talked about the acting. I've talked about the writing. Talked about the CG. Now I'll get into the bread and butter that is the horror of this movie. I will admit that I liked Ted when he was first brought to life. And when he had the voice of a six-year-old child, I liked that. But that is all thrown out the window when he turns into a Peter Griffin clone. <sighs> this movie is a terrible, terrible excuse for entertainment. Again, I could not help it. I was so angry that I was literally screaming at the camera in the first review. I, I did it at this movie yesterday. I, I just couldn't help it. I was so mad at the movie that I just wanted to go into a... Technically, I did go into, into a fit of rage. But, seriously guys, this movie is not worth your time. It's not... Judging by the fact that McFarlane put two mil- Hold on, let me go on to IMDB and see how much money this movie made. Okay, Ted, 
2012. Oh. Okay. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry about that guys. Um my my computer screen has bad scratches and sometimes I can't even see what the heck I'm typing. Okay, one one hundred and six minutes, comedy fantasy, rated R, yada yada yada. Okay. I still have a hard time believing that this piece of crap movie got a seven point zero star rating. It just it just blows my mind. Okay, um, okay, details, storyline, box office. Fifty thousand million dollars? Opening weekend, fifty four thousand four hundred fifteen million two hundred and five dollars? Holy cow! Okay. Let's let's get to the bottom line right now. Judging by the fact that McFarland put fifty million dollars into this, that could have easily gone to a more worthy cause. I'm convinced. I am really convinced that that this that this movie that this movie was it was not made for love for entertainment it was just for money yep i have heard it from ben the looney that uh seth MacFarlane is a greedy jerk and from what i just saw on ted's imdb page i can totally agree with that Fifty thousand million dollars, guys. Fifty thousand million dollars were made. Fifty thousand million dollars was this movie's budget. Fifty thousand million dollars, and this is what Seth MacFarlane came up with. That is just unbelievable. Okay. Anyway, that's it for this follow-up review. I didn't mean to waste you guys' time. Hopefully, this is a step up from the previous review and rant I did on this on this movie, which was yesterday. I'm sorry I keep moving my head. Sometimes... My body just wants me to do that. Bye.